It is no secret big tech companies collect a treasure trove of data about our interests and behaviors based on our phones, computers, cars, and all the other smart devices we use. And credit companies may make decisions and judge us based on the friends we keep on social media. Lee Kendrick is a debt and credit expert and founder of Credit U-Turn. So really, the friends I keep on social media may have an impact on whether or not I get a loan, Lee? Uh, whether or not you get a loan, uh, I'm not so sure about that. Uh, here in the U.S., it's, it's definitely, in developing countries, it's much more utilized. Uh, but uh, the... Uh, sub agencies that aggregate your data and resell that to the major credit agencies and uh, they have a wealth of data on everything that you do whether it's gaming history retail shopping history and your social media uh, not just history but your contact list so it could certainly impact a decision of whether or not you get a five percent rate versus a three percent rate uh, but uh, whether or not it's uh, utilized mainly here in the U.S. right now, it remains to be seen. So we think our credit score is the be-all, end-all, but apparently the lenders are going well beyond credit scores to make their decisions. They're using social scoring, so how does that work? So, again, it's just basically it's uh, who, who's in your contact list. So if you want to uh, raise your social media score, uh, friend Elon Musk, uh, Mark Cuban, uh, Donald Trump, you know, somebody out there, uh, just put those people in your friends list. As far as whether or not somebody with negative credit is impacting you, I, I wouldn't be that concerned about that right now. Uh, if if you are concerned about that, just recommend them to a service like ours. So just tell everybody out there that they need to be monitoring their credit and check to see if they have anything negative in their credit files. That's really the, the best way to be proactive about this. And I'm going to tell them how they can do that and get in touch with you in just a bit. But, you know, until I read this article and, and contacted you again, because you were on with us, I think, about a month and a half ago, most people weren't even aware this existed. Yeah, you're, and you're exactly right. So, so again, how this all came about is like in countries that don't have traditional credit scoring systems like India, uh, they basically make their lending decisions initially based upon who your contacts are. So if you have contacts that have repaid a debt to them, they believe that everybody else in your contact list deserves merit as far as giving them an opportunity to extend credit offers to them. So what they're going to do here in the U.S. as well as some other mainstream countries is just enhance their current uh, credit scoring system and or uh, credit underwriting system by also checking that data as well just to make sure that it aligns with what your credit score really shows. So do I have to be mindful about what I post on my Instagram and Facebook pages and the like? Sure, uh, just for employment purposes, to make sure that you're uh, still friends with your boss and, you know, that you're able to get those promotions by all means. But as far as whether or not that's impacting your score or whether or not that's impacting your ability to get a loan, probably not. Not unless you've just got some hardcore person that just leans in the opposite direction of what your beliefs are. Uh, could that potentially influence something? Yes. But as far as like mainstream lenders, like your Wells Fargo's and Banks of America and Chase and that sort of thing that it's probably not impacting you so if people want to find out whether or not there is something that's impactful tell them how to get in touch with credit u-turn uh, CreditUturn.com, just go to our website or go to your mobile app store, search for Credit U-Turn, all one word, all spelled out together. Uh, and, and the great thing about our service is it's a credit monitoring system that allows you to uh, see what's in your credit files, but also to dispute and challenge any of that negative information without you paying any credit repair fees. And it automatically refreshes everything for you every 30 days. Can't be too careful these days. Lee, appreciate you. Have a great one. Okay. We'll Thank be you. right back.